Welcome to Full Plate Diet TV. I'm Dr. Diana Fleming, co-author of The Full Plate Diet. Now, in previous episodes, I have talked a lot about different foods and beverages and how they relate to fiber and weight loss. But in this episode, I want to talk about fiber itself. Now, there's a lot of good research, a lot of good evidence telling us that high fiber diets decrease our risk of heart disease, high blood pressure, stroke, gallstones, gallbladder disease, six different kinds of cancer, prediabetes, diabetes, overweight, obesity, acid reflux, ulcers, hemorrhoids. There's a lot of health benefits, as you can see, to a high fiber diet. But this, this is so amazing to me. How can fiber do this when it is not even digested as it passes through our digestive tract? This is amazing. Fiber is not broken down and its components are not absorbed into our bloodstream like starch or sugar or fat or protein. We don't have the enzymes to break the fiber into its pieces so we can absorb them. So basically, fiber moves through our whole digestive tract from our mouth to our anus. It's eliminated. So how can something that is not digested have so many amazing health benefits? I mean, that's unbelievable. That's a really good question. And guess what? There's two reasons why fiber does this. The first is how it's packaged in fiber-rich foods. The second is the actions that fiber has as it moves through our digestive tract. And that's what I want to talk about briefly right now. And I have four common objects to illustrate the four major actions of fiber in our digestive tract. And the first one is a broom. We're all familiar with a broom. Fiber acts like a broom. What do we use a broom for? Well, we move stuff along off our floor, um, you know, off the counter, whatever we're using the broom for. And so we can get rid of it. Fiber acts like a broom. First of all, it moves the food through our digestive system, and then it moves the waste products through our colon so we can eliminate them. Fiber also acts like a dry sponge. Now, we all know what happens. If you set a dry sponge in a plate of water, that sponge just absorbs that water, just loves that water. Fiber is water loving. It loves to take water to itself. That helps us be regular and it helps form this thick gel in the small intestine. And that gel acts like a speed bump. Now, I think all of us at some point have been driving through a parking lot too fast and we hit a speed bump. Bam, you know, what do we do? We put on the brakes and we slow down. In fact, we're looking for the next speed bump because we don't want to hit it too fast. Well, that's what fiber does. That thick gel that forms because fiber loves water slows down the digestion of our food in the small intestine and it slows down the absorption of nutrients and especially sugar. This has wonderful health benefits. And lastly, fiber acts like a glue board. Now, we've all used glue boards at some point in our life. We like to stick them under dressers and under the bed to catch all kinds of creepy, crawly things that we don't want crawling on us, right? Well, fiber acts like a glue board. It, it catches all kinds of toxins in the digestive tract and cholesterol that we don't need, and it pulls it out in our waste products. So look, every time you think Every time you see a broom, or a sponge, or you go over a speed bump, or you use a glue board, think of fiber and all the wonderful beneficial actions that it has in our digestive tract that are going to help us be healthy and lose weight. Thanks for joining us on Full Plate Diet TV. We'll see you on our next episode.